Hey guys, it's Frida for Sophie's World. And today I would really like to show you how to make this really nifty styrofoam ball and fabric pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern dude. And he is just a really neat ornament that you can have hanging to really jazz up um, your Halloween this year. So I'd really just love to show you how to make this because it's pretty simple. All right, so the let me show you what materials you're gonna need to make this little guy. For starters, you're gonna need a styrofoam ball. Now this is a six inch styrofoam ball, but a four inch styrofoam ball would work just fine as well, or any size ball that is larger than this would also be perfectly fine. You're gonna also need some orange fabric. And um, this is just your basic cotton fabric uh, that you get at your fabric store. And um, you don't need very much of it. Any sort of like just little small square scraps would work just fine for you. You're going to need a tongue depressor or a popsicle stick or a coffee stir stick. Any of these will do just fine. What you need this for is to press the fabric into the styrofoam ball, so this is just a tool, but in, in any of these would be just fine. You're gonna need some straight pins here, and I have chosen pins that have a black ball on the end because this is gonna work perfect for the Halloween jack-o'-lantern theme. And then I've got myself some black sequins here, which are also perfect for this theme. But this technique I'm showing you, you could use uh, to make any sort of thing with your styrofoam ball. Then I've got myself some, just a little scrap of green tulle here. And then I've got a small piece of brown ribbon. And finally, a pair of scissors. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to cut up your orange fabric into squares, and I've actually already done that. You're gonna to wanna to cut them into about three by three inch squares or four by four inch squares, something small, but it all depends on the size of the ball you're using. For my six inch ball, I'm gonna go with stuff on the smaller side. So the way that you're going to turn your styrofoam ball into a beautiful orange ball is you're going to take your pieces of fabric and then you're going to use one of your tools here. I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with the tongue depressor. And what you're going to do is just, with a little pressure here, press your popsicle, excuse me, my tongue depressor, into the styrofoam ball, locking along the edge of the fabric, locking that fabric into place. Do you see? Just like that. And that's not going anywhere. That's really pressed in there. So you can see this part is wonderful for small hands because there's nothing to hurt small hands here. It's just a popsicle stick, a tongue depressor, or a coffee stir stick, fabric, and a styrofoam ball. So I'm just pressing that in, just like that. So I'm just going to press in the entire piece here. like that. Now we're ready for our next piece. And I'm just going to go ahead and join this up. So you're going to just lay it right next to this line here and just push it right back into the same place we just pushed in the other piece. And just push it on in there. Secure those edges down in there just by giving it little pushes here. Just like that, it's all, all in there. Now I'm just gonna give this a little tension and pull this around and start again. Pressing, pressing that fabric into the styrofoam ball. Now because this is a Halloween jack-o'-lantern I'm making here, I don't think that it needs to be perfect. I don't want this to end up looking like a soccer ball with the most perfect imaginable squares. I'm, I'm more interested in just sort of like covering the ball. But you could um, mathematically work this out so that you're putting this fabric in there in such a way 
that it did appear to be like a soccer ball. Okay, so I am totally covered and uh, made a bit of a little mess here. So my entire styrofoam ball is now completely covered and uh, just come back and neaten up a little bit of that. But um, the really remarkable thing is, you'd think, oh, this is just gonna pull out, but it really doesn't. I mean, these pieces are in it and they're winning it. So now I'm gonna decide where I want my face. I like this area here because it's a nice, big, open, open area. So now I'm just gonna draw a little face on. And I'm gonna draw my face slightly smaller than what I actually want. Here's a nose. Let's do some eyes. a little close to my nose here. Well, we're gonna give that a shot. And how about a mouth? Let's do a little funny mouth here on the side. Let's just have one big bottom tooth. That's pretty cute. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so here's our little face. So I've drawn that on with a pencil. Now you do not need to do that. Um, you can just actually start going to town putting your pins in without drawing a face on it, but might as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna dump out a few black sequins here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the sequin, I'm going to hold it just like this. And I'm going to take my straight pin and I'm just going to press it right in like that and it's gonna hold the sequin in place. And I'm just going to continue here. This little pile of sequins has both big sequins and smaller sequins within it. I'm going for the bigger sequins because they're going to fill up more space faster. So, I've um, got the eyes, nose done here, the eyes and the nose. So now we're just going to finish off with the mouth. And again, all I'm doing, holding, hold the sequin in place, push the pin in. Hold the sequin in place, push the pin in. All right, so now we have a beautiful pumpkin face, jack-o'-lantern. So now it's time to add the stem. So I'm going to take my piece of brown ribbon here. I'm going to fold it over onto itself, make a little loop here, and then I'm going to decide where I want to put it. I think I'm going to put it about here, sort of jauntily off to the side. Press the pins in, just two of them, and that is going to hold it nicely. You see? Now, what I'm going to do, just to dress it up even more, is I have this nice green tool. What I'm gonna do with the tool is I'm just going to twist it in the middle a couple times. Take that twisted section, position it where I would like next to the stem here. Just hold it down in place. And I'm gonna put a couple pins here, maybe three. Isn't that nice? So now, to make the leaf shape, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to sort of bunch the end here of my tool, and then I'm just going to twist a couple times here, twist the tool, and it's sort of made a nice puffed out leaf shape. So now I'm going to just use a pin to hold that in place. Isn't that nice? Let's do that to the other side as well. where we want it here. That looks nice. Okay, let's get our pin in. 
And we have ourselves a styrofoam ball wah, and fabric jack-o'-lantern. He's pretty cute, huh?